Right, go on then, Phil. <laughs> right, here, spat short chicken. Now, what I try to do is to cut down the roasting time. I get a lot of people write to me saying, love it, but, you know, it takes uh, uh, 1.9 kilowatts of energy to heat up an oven. So here it is. It's just a, basically a one kilo chicken, or just slightly over, that we've taken the backbone out, spatchcock, laid it flat, and it cooks in around about 35 to 40 minutes from scratch. Mm -hmm. There are a couple of little tricks we put into there. But, but you said to take the backbone out as if that's, like, the it's easiest very easy. thing. It's okay. very, very easy. Stop it off. Yeah. As James would do, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, we need a sharp knife, obviously. And here, I've, uh, here's the chicken. This is one kilo chicken. Um, and you'll see that on here, you've got the spine. I've, I've cut one already so you can see it. There's the spine just mm -hmm. there. Yeah. So I've cut down through the neck, right down to the back uh, of the leg, through one side. You okay, can do so that with a pair of scissors, though, can't you? You can, yes, yeah. you can. But you need quite a hefty pair yeah. for, for a yeah. one kilo chicken. This is really weird. We're, this is the first time we've actually worked together for, for what, 12 years? It might be more than that, James. 12 years. Since the old bandana days, you see? <laughs> Could I just say, also, when James and I were cooking, when we did Ready Steady Cook... Here we go. I was taken on. He was, he was the one after me to be taken on yeah. of the original old boys. Yeah. So we are old. Thanks now. very much, yeah. Yeah, very old boys. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There you go. Uh, anyway, so I've cut down one side of the, uh, of the spine. Yeah. Knife goes in, you can see that there. Yeah. There's the spine. And with your heel of the, of the knife on the board, just cut straight through there, like so. And out it comes. Oh, they're so squeamish, you lot. Oh, In my please. ear, they're it's all chicken. going... Oh, it's, it's a chicken. It's a chicken. <laughs> That's all it is. Yeah. Chicken. And then lay it flat, like so. Yeah. Like there, into the tray. I it's use... great for barbecuing, then, it, really? It's... You can do, James, yeah, but, I mean, you know, I, I barbecue all year. I know you do. But I love it. But I just think this is a much, much easier way of doing it. Now, let's turn that over. So, here's the, uh, a clay, or well, like a marinade I, I'm going to put on top of the chicken. So, I've got garlic, lemon juice, Couple t couple of tablespoons of um, olive oil in they go, not a lot. Yeah. Mix it up, a little bit of salt and pepper, into it goes. And I'm just going to, if you can marinate the chicken, then all, you know, all the better. But I just literally pull that over, the chicken like so, in it goes. Then add a touch of water to that, around about 100 mils of water. I haven't got the water here as I put it in. 100 mils of water, cover it with foil. Into the oven, 200 degrees centigrade gas six for around about 35 to 45 so minutes. Quite high to start. Yeah, but because that boiling water in there to start, it part steam, part roast. Do so you need to cover it, yeah? You're I part love roasting it. it. <laughs> You're yeah. part roasting it. All right. Does, okay. it, does, does it make you nervous having another chef watching you? Because I'm normally. It makes me more nervous it. watching <laughs> you doing that. <laughs> to be honest. I'm not finished yet. I'm not. You can't see it. Yet. Okay. It's not no, oh, right. That's actually quite good. Um, well, I've known James a long time, so yes. you know, he's a good, he's a good old boy. Now. Yes. Less of the old. <laughs> hey, we're all in that zone, you know. Don't yeah, come no, there. tell me about it. Yeah. Okay, so after 40 minutes, a lot of this. Now, this is probably three quarters of the way cooked. Yeah. We're going to finish it with a glaze. So, in here, I have zest of uh, two lemons. Yeah. I'm going to put probably three tablespoons of pomegranate molasses, a little touch of vinegar, in it goes. And this is the little key. This is corn flour, which is or arrowroot, a starch, in that goes. And basically, what you're going to do is mix that up. When you paint it onto the hot chicken, it actually it sets. When the, star when the starch sets in the hot oven, it sets. So you reglaze it two or three times, and you get a lovely sticky you don't glaze. You glaze end. on from the start, then you want to. No, because it would just come off in the yeah. steam. Okay, so all we're going to do. And why have you gone for pomegranate molasses? Oh, I just love it. I've just written a book, and it's, it, I, I started playing around with it. And I knew there'd be a reason. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> no, 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 not for the commercial gain. I, I, I just like to say it's just purely because I just love it, and I've, I've almost forgotten about it because it's such a lovely background flavour as well. It's weird. Chefs go through different ingredients. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm really into maple syrup now. I absolutely oh, yeah. love. Yeah. yeah, similar thing. Yeah. Absolutely. Now that will glaze up in about yeah. about 10 to 15 minutes. You need to repaint it two or three times. End up beautifully glazed and lovely and succulent. Golden rule: take it out, leave it to rest for half an hour, coated, uh, coated, covered. Do you cover foil. it? Yeah. Yeah, always cover it. The more you can rest it, the better it is. Look at the concentration. <laughs> 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 <I like that. laughs> James, you got some here. Yeah. I'll just show you. Yeah. 